Good afternoon, this is Nicoletta and Nanaimo Toyota doing a quick walk around video of our 2015 Toyota Tundra Double Cab Limited Packaging. This 4x4 Tundra with a 6.5 foot box is looking for a new home, preferably before the holidays. So I'm doing this walk around to give you a clear expectation of overall condition as well as included features. This little girl is very, very loaded. And I want to make sure that I'm showing you the difference on the left and right side so you can see that the seamless repairs were done for the couple of accident claims. So first off, let's start up nice and close on this girl. 42995 plus a 495 dealer fee. We have our iForce 5.7 liter V8 decal as well as our Tundra decal on the side here. Chrome on the mirrors. Wheels in great shape. Tires doing pretty good. And let's take a look for anything significant. So one thing I do want to point out is there is a little bit of pitting, teeny tiny itty bitty pits like that on the front end, which is normal on any vehicle. It's not a chip, it's just a little pit. We got parking sensors out the front here, and then we've got our fog lights. You can see the hood's in good shape, no chips in it, which is impressive, because usually there's some chips if you do not have a um, hood deflector on the vehicle. Hood, grill, and the rear bumper sill are some of the most scuffed and imperfected places ever on any car. So you can see again, there's like a tiny little pit there. There's a couple of those on the front end. I'm not gonna try and nitpick all of them out. It'll take me a long time. Doing pretty good here. Nothing on the truck. There's teeny tiny little itty bitty marks. Like this little scuff right here is like the tiniest little thing. You can barely see it. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. So there's a couple of teeny, teeny, tiny little itty bitty scuffs on it. Um, all of these of which, of course, will buff out. And there's really not that many of them. It's quite impressive, actually. So coming down this side, this is the right side, AKA the passenger side. This is the side that has been hit twice. This truck was living in an underground parking lot. Um, no, that's water. An underground parking lot and the neighbor to this parking stall. She uh, hit the truck a couple of times. Uh, there's a couple little rock chips here. Touch it up with a paint pen. Uh, nothing else significant. Oh, down here, there's a little bit on the bumper here. So you can see there's, that's a little chip, little chip, and that is dirt. Bumper's looking pretty good. Um, the bumper, as I assume, has been replaced. They did have one rear hit. Um, there is this small thing down here as well that doesn't buff out, that's for sure. Uh, parking sensors down the rear. Then you have your uh, trailer hitch as well as your wiring harness and you can see the spare is peeking out right here. So just to give you an idea here, if we take a look at the side of the truck, the only bevel ding is the stuff all around the wheel well where it's supposed to be. There is no dents, nothing looks off. Got the tundra decal on the back here and just for perspective so you've got this side here looking good this is your driver's side this is the side that has not been hit and then back over here you can see that there is nothing to be concerned about all the repairs have been done all right four by four decal here slow dropping tailgate has a spray and liner done to it Bed cleats, they are adjustable. Got a couple little scuffs like this on the edge of the tail, um, the tailgate, and a couple down the edge of the bed, which is a very common thing in trucks. And I've changed angles here. I do want to point out um, there is a bit of actually, I lied to you, there is a small dent over here. I don't even know, like, I don't know what angle I have to be at for you to see it on the. Uh, there we go. You can see how the light's morphing around it. So I will get our dent gun. Look at that on Monday. See if we can pop that out. It's very, very minor. Like I had to really look for it. Just want to check one more time. And yeah, so that's not on this side. So that's the one, I'd say that's the biggest imperfection on the whole truck. And again, like I can't even see it in the camera here. So it's all about the angle. I can just see it just a slice bit darker there. All right. Coming on this side of the truck here. On driver's side, again, I'm not seeing anything stand out. 
Looking good. Um, in case you're wondering what these lines are on both sides, this is a paint protection film to keep it from chipping and everything like that. Got your mud flaps on the back there too. Coming down the side. Yeah, she's in really good shape. This beauty wants a new home, so let's take a look at the inside. Auto up and down on the driver window, auto down on the passenger window, bottle holder and a little cubby space. You have power seats with lumbar support. Leather is doing great. Let's hop on in, have a look at the rest of the vehicle. All right, so down the other side here, leather's doing good. There's one small little mark here, it's a little red dot. And then up here we've got our vanity mirror and you on the visor and you've also got a slider in case the sun's in that awkward corner and it is illuminated. Got some wood grain finishing up here. Then you've got your two tier glove box there. That is a locking glove box. You can see there's some imperfections on this plastic itself. So just be aware of that. Coming over to the screen here, if we you can see there's audio, you've also got app options. Oh gosh, there we go. So you go navigation if you'd like, loads up your map for you. It's also where your backup camera shows up. Uh, a little below here, we've got our hazard lights, two zone climate control. So if we turn the fan on, you'll see if I move this one, it'll move independently, but anytime I hit sync, it goes back to the driver's side. Fan speed, directional options, front and mirrors, turn those off. Heated seats are down here. Okay, then we've got our four wheel drive dial. So this one here, you just spin it. Uh, you can go into four high up to 80 kilometers per hour without stopping just on the fly. Four low, you need to be in neutral. Two 12 volt plugs and then your USB and auxiliary are right in here. You've got a cup holder, cup holder. You've got your gear shift that has your plus and minus for your standard or sport mode. A huge console here that's got room for business cards, pens, tissue. Another 12 volt plug and it's very spacious. <coughs> that would be my purse carrier and probably my snack carrier. That's what I would use it for. Limited badging on there, really nice. And the handle's just right here. Perfect. Then coming to the dash here, you can see we've got 41,418 kilometers, or you might well see that. You sort of see that. <laughs> um, now on the display, so this little knob here, that's how you change your brightness on your dash as well as change your odometer from trip A, B, and standard odometer. Steering wheel, we have here fog lights, headlights, variably intermittent wipers. You have preset controls, type of music you're listening to, AM, FM, XM, uh, satellite or Bluetooth, volume controls, a back button, horn works, perfect. Phone options, voice recognition system, display, and cruise control. Behind the wheel here, we've got our parking sensors, traction control, and our tow haul button. If you're going to tow or haul, please push. That is better on your engine transmission, and overall, you're better off with the truck. It's going to be very nice to the truck versus very mean to the truck. It just changes your gearing and acceleration and everything to make sure that you are doing no damages. Here on the other side of the steering wheel, we have, as you can see, there's your e-brake there, push pedal. You've got um, mirrors lights turn on when the door is open adjustable headlamps that is the light at the back of the bed um, above the window blind spot monitors which are in the mirror there you can just see the little symbol there and they are heated and then this here it says push and that opens your power rear window dome light up top no sunroof in this model but you do have your sunglasses holder and some more card holders and then over here you got one two three garage door openers power for your auto dimming mirror and then you've got a compass in the corner super adjustable fans i like having fans this way it's super adjustable um, please ignore what the navigation screen is doing on my phone that is not happening in real life that is just the way it records all right let's have a look at the rear of the vehicle looking pretty sharp all right so i've got the back seats folded partially up here so the reason i've done this is to make sure you can see exactly what's going on so back here again we've got a couple scratches on the plastic those come down into two cup holders your leather is in great shape child anchors on the bottom there um yeah i can't really make it brighter in here sorry about that 
There we go. In here, we've got a little storage compartment it's where your jack current, sorry, your uh, trailer hitch currently is. Jack and tools are on the other side under the one singular seat over here. To get this down, I'm just gonna push on here. We'll pull on that and then pull on the seat, let it drop. You can see leather is doing great. Uh, you do have a 12 volt plug back there as well in case you missed that. And a pouch behind the passenger seat. Uh, got some scuffing on the door here and a couple little marks as you can see on the speaker. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been a great walk around video of our 2015, sorry, 2015 Toyota Tundra Limited Double Cab. This well-kept beauty is looking for a new home, so please come on down to Nanaimo Toyota, take her for a spin, see if she's a truck for you. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.